it's time for the keyboard players to get a little love. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 keyboard players in rock. For this list, we're ranking the most popular and influential rock musicians who utilize the keyboard as their chosen instrument. We will be omitting rock piano players such as Elton John, Little Richard, Billy Joel, and Jerry Lee Lewis, however, as those rock icons deserve a list of their own. Number 10, Billy Preston. Nothing from nothing, leave nothing. This master of the Hammond organ was known affectionately as the fifth Beatle, thanks to his credited performances with the Fab Four on the classic track Get Back. Get back the career of Billy Preston speaks volumes on its own, however, thanks to the famed keyboardist's esteemed solo career and work on film soundtracks for Slaughter and Fast Break. Your softness. Comfort me through all this madness. Preston was also known for backing some of the biggest names in rock on tour, including Little Richard and the Rolling Stones, proving that this keyboard master could play alongside just about anyone. Number 9. John Paul Jones, Led Zeppelin, Them Crooked Vultures. Sure, Led Zeppelin legend John Paul Jones may be best known for his groundbreaking achievements on the bass guitar, but many classic rock aficionados will also point to the man's equally impressive keyboard abilities as one of Zepp's best kept secrets. Indeed, Jones is an incredibly well-traveled musician, one whose songwriting and arrangement skills have placed him in demand with artists as diverse as Diamante Galas and Them Crooked Vultures. Jones's keyboard skills have been spotlighted on many classic rock radio staples, including Led Zeppelin's Kashmir, No Quarter, and Trampled Underfoot. his work with Them Crooked Vultures continues to win over fans of all ages. Number 8. Jordan Rudis, Dream Theater. Fans love to debate the ins and outs of their favorite band, including who best filled that spot behind the keyboards. Several talented players have served time within the Dream Theater ranks, including Derek Sherinian and founding member Kevin Moore, but it's Jordan Rudis who currently holds fans' rapt attention as the band's go-to keyboard wizard. Rudis has proven more than capable in both the technical and theatrical departments, providing melodic chills and thrills while also connecting with the audience as an entertaining live performer. The debate may rage on, but Jordan Rudis is more than game to give fans his all night after night on the road. There's no Number 7. Getty Lee, Rush. The progressive hard rock titans known as Rush went through a stylistic shift of sorts during the early 80s, where the guitar-heavy arrangements featured on such songs as YYZ were replaced with a thoughtful, streamlined, and melodic direction which relied heavily upon keyboards and synthesizers. It was the band's bassist and frontman Geddy Lee who spearheaded this progression, which resulted in the hit Subdivisions and Tom Sawyer. While the analog hid and Countdown served as fan favorite deep cuts, where Lee's virtuoso playing and keen ear for melody resulted in some of the band's most inspired material. Number 
Number six, Richard Wright, Pink Floyd. It isn't always the flash or the razzle-dazzle which defines a great keyboard player, but rather the ability to devise a proper atmosphere. Richard Wright was one of those keyboardists, as evidenced by his work within Pink Floyd. Wright's ability to hang back and allow a soundscape to build and wind its way around the band's psychedelic orchestration served as one of Floyd's secret weapons, alongside the restrained drumming of Nick Mason. Sure, Roger Waters and David Gilmour might have received all the glory, but it was Richard Wright whose crafty keywork made that Floyd magic all the more special. Number 5. Tony Banks, Genesis The immense body of work which makes up the career of keyboardist and songwriter Tony Banks is enough to make even the most accomplished musician jealous. Banks has performed everything from the intricate progressive symphonies to stripped down minimalist soundscapes in his career as a founding member of Genesis, all the while retaining a memorable songwriting sense all his own. It takes a special sort of performer to be as versatile as Tony Banks, yet this keyboardist has proven time and time again that his talent is beyond reproach. Number 4. John Lord, Deep Purple There are few keyboardists out there with as much fiery stage presence or as many furious technical chops as the legendary John Lord of Deep Purple. Lord practically abused his Hammond organ and other keyboards over the years, engaging in extravagant runs and epic solo sections with all the electricity of a lightning storm. It wasn't always about aggression with John Lord, however, as the keyboardist could also add delicate texture and mood to a piece, as evidenced by his work with Purple's Mark III lineup alongside singer David Coverdale and bassist Glenn Hughes. Number 3. Rick Wakeman, yes. There was little to no room for subtlety when it came to the magical keyboard world of Rick Wakeman. This former member of progressive rock legends, yes, was known for his extravagant solo performances on such albums as the myths and legends of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, just as much as the symphonic approach on such yes classics as Roundabout and Heart of the Sunrise. Wakeman would even compose soundtrack music for the 1981 slasher film The Burning, further exemplifying the keyboardist's boundary-smashing approach to his chosen instrument. Number 2. Ray Manzarek, The Doors You know that it would be untrue Classic rock icons The Doors were one of the few popular bands of their generation without a bass player, but there was one very simple reason for this fact. They had Ray Manzarek. This immensely talented keyboardist and songwriter not only composed and performed melody lines on his instrument, but Manzarek also handled the low-end grooves as well, in a style which was completely and utterly unique for the day. For a band with a public persona so heavily associated with frontman Jim Morrison, it was nevertheless Ray Manzarek's amazing talent which pushed The Doors' music into the annals of rock and roll histories. Before we unveil our final keyboardist, 
Here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Keith Emerson, Emerson Lake and Palmer. The keyboard wizard known as Keith Emerson was a man who wore many creative hats. The English songwriter and arranger would gain success with both Emerson Lake and Palmer and the Nice early on in his career. Before venturing into the world of film soundtracks, which includes his work on Dario Argento's cult horror flick Inferno. Emerson's excessive symphonic flourishes and influence from classical composers Beethoven and Bach have defined him as not only as one of the leading keyboardists from the progressive rock era, but also one of the most influential men to ever play the instrument. So, agree with our list? Which keyboard player do you think rocks the hardest? For more heavy top 10 lists published every day, please subscribe to WatchMojo.com.